That is the spectacular end to a long journey. Bordered by an ocean of reeds, grass and forest. Just a few wing flaps behind the beaches of the famous Baltic Sea resorts lies a limitless wilderness, the Oda Delta. The Oda Delta is a landscape of superlatives, the significance of which is unique in Europe. To give nature room, this is the secret. <laughs> this region enjoys special protection, both in Germany and in Poland wild herds of European bison, several wolf packs on both sides of the border, Europe's largest breeding grounds for white-tailed sea eagles, and the arms of the Oda Delta provide a habitat for hundreds of beavers. Dense reed belts thrive along the entire shallow lagoon coast. They act as a nursery for fish, a breeding place for waterfowl, and in the autumn, they become the bedroom for thousands of barn swallows. They have many enemies, especially smaller birds of prey, like falcons or sparrowhawks. A sea eagle alerts the flock of birds. The first swallow flies off and the others follow. But he's not interested in them at all. He hunts for fish. The lagoon is full of them. An infinite aquatic wilderness. More sea eagles live here than anywhere else in Europe. The lagoon is bigger than Lake Constance, yet still it is merely a part of the whole delta. For more than a hundred kilometers, the Oder acts as a border river between Germany and Poland. The Oder Delta extends from Sieschien to northernmost points of the Baltic islands of Usedom and Volin. On the Polish side, the river branches off in several tributaries. Sieschien is Poland's second largest port city. It is traversed by waterways. Just a few kilometers further north, and the Oder flows into the Szczecin Lagoon. In the south of the delta, the primeval forests of tomorrow develop. In the Ukemunde Heath on the German side, there has been a safe place for animals for decades. The military training ground. It's so paradoxical. It's more peaceful for nature there where war is rehearsed. Many areas are off limits. Several adjacent areas have been completely left to nature. Monotonous pine woods are developing into primeval forests again, which, with their moors and heaths, are solely reserved for animals and plants. Roebucks have territories with clear boundaries. 
Intruders are not tolerated. Their turf wars cause them to be inattentive. Their hustle and bustle doesn't go unobserved. He's discovered something, and it's coming directly towards him. His mother. The she-wolf attends to her pups at least once a day. It's the fifth litter she has had on the military training ground, and she knows that this forest meadow is a safe place to be. These are the final days in which the young receive milk. At eight weeks, they are old enough for solids. They're very hungry. The pack now has to continuously hunt for prey. The parents are the most important hunters. But the survival of the pups depends on the entire pack. Like her father, the oldest sister wears a transmitter collar. Not everyone is excited about the return of the wolves. This is why they are permanently observed, to discover where and what they hunt. Together with her brother, she takes care of her little siblings while the oldies are away hunting. With delight, the puppies greet their big brother. They know too well. If you lick his snout long enough, he regurgitates perfectly chewed food. Intimate insights into the family life of wolves that are scarce even in the wilderness of the Oda Delta. Just how do you tell the little ones, enough is enough? Most of the time, one can only see three of the pups. They are extremely curious, and sadly, sometimes too imprudent. Later, they will keep close to humans and streets. The forest is rich in prey. The parents never have to venture far, but recently there's been no sign of the male. Hidden cameras captured him together with the female at the den in the mating season. Two months later, he's alone and emaciated. A few days after the last images, his collar is found on the bank of a nearby river. He was 14 years old. Together with the female wolf, he has raised more than 20 offspring. The fate of the pack now appears uncertain. The young are still well cared for, but can the mother make it alone? Is help from the year-old siblings enough? Shortly after the old male disappeared, a stranger arrived in their territory. His body language is not hostile. The pack at the military training ground now has a new male. Perhaps they all saw the change coming. 
Be that as it may, the yearlings have already accepted him. But how will the pups and the female wolf react? Lion or bear males kill their predecessors' cubs to inherit their genes. Such behavior in wolves has not yet been observed in Europe. And indeed, the new male accepts the offspring of his predecessor, filmed for the first time amongst Germany's wild wolves. has a future in retreats such as these. His descendants will roam the Oda Delta and eventually have a family of their own. The vast forests of Western Pomerania on Polish territory. Enough space and tranquility for a rare species. They once faced extermination, like the wolves. European bison. Decades of breeding and settlement projects have proved successful. More than 200 animals traverse the forests in several small herds, and their numbers are increasing. The calves are born all year round. As all mothers double as nurses for the little ones, they have no problems surviving the lean season. The most experienced cow takes over leadership of the herd. The strongest bull has the privilege of mating with all of the females. He, on the other hand, accepts no competitors, and they have to leave the herd. They comb the area in search of females. After more than 250 years, in the autumn of 2017, an old bull returns to Germany via the Oda. He was a welcome guest in towns, and unlike Poland, no one in Germany has experience with the gentle giants. European bison are on the red list of endangered species, and therefore enjoy absolute protection. The district authorities make a decision. Despite the laws in place, the animal was shot to protect the local population. Criminal charges were filed. At the very least, the case sparks a discussion about how to deal with returnees like this in the future. The bison live wild on the Polish side, and they are treated like a priceless treasure. Bears, wolves, and bison have always lived side by side in Poland. So that the animals don't go to the arable land areas belonging to farmers and cause damage, they are fed. They don't need the extra rations in order to survive. In fact, the tasty tidbits help to teach the bison not to leave the forest. Animals equipped with a GPS transmitter live in each group. This relays to the scientists the whereabouts of the bison so that they can react should one venture onto the field. Many smaller rivers flow into the Oda Delta.
Their currents and the waves from the lagoon provide gaps in the ice. Winter guests gather from the icy east. For several years now, the snow-white great egrets have been observed here on a regular basis. The rivers constantly transport nutrients to the lagoon, food for the fish. And that's what this egret is after. The water is very shallow. Even a small crack in the ice is enough for a skilled hunter. Other guests come from the north to the ice-free banks of the delta. It is the most important winter resting place for smews. Unlike ducks, their beaks are full of sharp teeth with which they effortlessly catch small fish. Water birds are followed by their hunters. Sea eagles come to the meeting places on the edge of the ice. Winters in the lagoon have become milder. Climate change means less cold ever later. As soon as the frosts become more severe, the lagoon begins to freeze over. Sometimes, one night is enough. The smaller the ice-free sections, the greater the chance of prey. Numerous waterfowl are squeezed ever closer together. A duel begins. Webbed feet for one. Five centimeter long talons for the other. Eurasian coots, extremely good divers in shallow water. Sea eagles equipped with the keenest eyes in the world. Coot versus sea eagle. It's no contest. The coots have just one chance, to confuse the bird of prey. Nothing doing for the little sea eagle. Others had more luck. 
Well, talent. And if one was successful, the others can't be bothered going hunting themselves. Surrounded by conspecifics, it's not easy to keep something to oneself. Nowhere else in the Baltic Sea region do so many sea eagles hibernate. can assert himself most, gets the spoils, while the others look on. The odor delta provides so much food during the winter that fighting and the risk of injuring oneself is not worth considering. One waits for the next opportunity. On the banks of Stepnice on the Polish side lies the realm of the Konix. For decades, the area was used as an intensive cattle pasture. This land was in time returned to nature. Winter arrives late this year, and March brings frost and snowfall. In the herd, many of the mares are pregnant and on the verge of giving birth. The first foals experience a frosty start to life, but the robust wild horses are perfectly adapted to the adverse weather conditions. Conix live semi-wild and spend the entire year outside. They are curious, yet always remain timid. They have been here before, long prior to our arrival. They came as the Ice Age went. Their ancestors traversed the vastness of Northern Europe in large herds, together with bison and auroxes. They do not need human help, even in winter. They always find something to eat. Herd is a new beginning, a test. Just how wild can the Oda Delta become again? Room enough is available. Wilderness also means re enabling nature's cycles. The wild boars have already heard the ravens from afar. They are always the first to find food. There where ravens make the most noise is where one should look first. This is a special place. Old and weak conics have not survived the late frosts. It is here where they retreat to die. The ravens have deliberately lured the wild boars here. They need them to be able to open the carcasses. The ravens, however, are smart enough to rid themselves of the pigs again.
He's a loner. It's said that the fox is clever. He has to be. After all, he does not have the protection and support of a pack. There is clearly far too much going on for him. Several Connex died on this spot. That means food for at least a week. Foxes, ravens, wild boars, and sea eagles. Elsewhere, they are seen as predators or pests. But they neither steal, nor do they cause problems. On the contrary, in the Oda Delta, everyone has a job to fulfill. What once worked for millennia, however, is now strictly regulated. In the EU, it is prohibited to allow carcasses to rot in the wilderness because of the possible risk of epidemics. These, however, could not be recovered. The machines could not venture any further across the drenched meadows, and so nature once again takes responsibility. The remains disappeared within the shortest space of time. While the others come and go, the ravens remain from start to finish. They are always around and always seem to have everything under control. This here also belongs to the cycle of life. Until today, the growth of the herd has been limited by the conservation authorities. It remains stable at roughly 200 animals. For more than 10 years, the wild horses have shown that they can survive in the wilderness of the Oda Delta without the support of humans. The islands of Volin and Usedom position themselves like a lock between the Oda Delta and the open sea. The hills, covered in old beech forests, can be as much as a hundred meters tall. A barrier broken only by three estuary arms. The Desvigne flows into the east, the Sweene to the center, and the Penestrom in the west into the Baltic. It's the only outflow on the German side. Together with the lagoon of the backwater, it connects to the lagoon in the north. It's the 4th of November, 1995. Gale force nine over northwest to north-northeast. A storm tide breaks through the dike built to protect the forest behind. The Anklammer Stadtbruch Nature Reserve is entirely underwater to this day. From one day to the next, the lagoon grows in size to an area almost as large as London. It was the start of one of Europe's most ambitious renaturation projects. Within the space of 20 years, the forest transformed into a water wonderland.
The mighty pines and oak trees of yore have died, yet are strong enough to take the combined weight of countless sea eagle eeries. More than 200 couples breed in the entire Oder Delta, 10 of them in the Anklamer Stadtbruch, where there used to be only room for a maximum of two pairs. As if it was a colony, unique in Europe. Until 2015, nearby Stadtbruch boasted the biggest cormorant colony in Germany. But the white guano decomposed the wood within a few years, and the dead trees lost their stability. The birds moved on. Amidst the new colony, an eagle pair has been breeding for years. Who was there first? Normally, the blackbirds are sent packing by the sea eagles. They keep out of their way. But it seems as if here, some kind of unspoken truce reigns. The couple has just one chick, although the females always lay two eggs. It can't be due to the location of the eerie, which is on the immediate area of the penistrome and the lagoon, with its wealth of fish. It's also not the pair's first brood. They are old enough, and they are experienced hunters. many reasons for losing offspring. One egg wasn't fertilized or the brood was destroyed. In addition, other birds of prey could have taken a little one when the parents were inattentive. For 10 years now, the old pine tree has sustained the eerie of another sea eagle pair. They have been brooding since late February. It's the middle of April and the first chick hatches. The second follows just a few days later. They are fed cautiously with the smallest possible morsels. In the beginning, one parent stays with the offspring while the partner is on the hunt. At the end of May, size-wise, the chicks resemble chickens. One month later, and they will leave the eerie. The young sea eagle in the cormorant colony is almost fully fledged. He is now attempting his first flights. 
at first, just within the eyrie. Then he goes from branch to branch. He receives continually less food, meaning ever more reasons for him to do his own thing. On its way to the Oda Delta, the Pena flows through western Pomerania. At its perimeters, flooded meadows and fairy tale riparian forests. Mighty lodges materialize along the banks and in the numerous small tributaries of the delta, sometimes every 100 meters. In the evening, the beavers become active and come out of the lodges in which they have spent the day sleeping. The Pinatar Nature Park is also known as the Amazonas of the North. Masses of water, lots of food, and room to move. Perfect for beavers. In the spring, juicy leaves feature prominently on their diet plan. The entrance is permanently underwater. Beavers build especially high dwellings due to the water level fluctuation in the Oda Delta. A somewhat extended family lives here. The parents with their offspring from the previous year and the little ones from this year. This can easily amount to around 10 beavers under one roof. Everyone has their own corner to sleep in. The mother moves into a communal nursery with the little ones. The elders can be up to 1 meter 20 tall and weigh around 40 kilograms, so that the lodge has to have quite a lot of space. It is constantly enlarged and repaired. Walls and chambers are altered depending on the need and the water level. When the woodwork rots after many years, they just move home. They always have at least one further lodge as an alternative. After two years with their parents, the youngsters build their own lodge just for singles at first, but it is soon extended and enlarged. There are infinite water areas between Peine and Anklamer Stadtbruch. It has been more than a quarter of a century since the beginning of a gigantic project. A moor is to be created here again on some 25,000 hectares. There, where today the rare flowering rush grows, pastures were fertilized, rolled, and mown for decades. Thanks to the renaturation, nature itself can once again unfold. More than 30 species of dragonfly prove that here, the natural balance has been restored. As much as dragonflies behind remind one of fairies, they are predators. They even attack their own. For this reason, 
the male defends the female when laying her eggs in the water from attacks from the air. In the Oda Delta, two color variations of European beaver meet. The brown Elbe beavers come from the west, while their black Voronezh cousins hail from the east. Sometimes both colors occur within the same family. These two are siblings. They will remain in the parental lodge for yet another year. They have already learned a lot. For example, how to plug a hole in the wall. Just recently, it has become unusually light in the room at the back. This time, actually, it's the camera light, but that's of little interest to the beaver. Outside, there is more than enough suitable material with which to build a new stable and lightproof wall. doesn't even take half an hour. The Amazon of the North, the Pinatar Nature Park is like a bridge for the flora and fauna between the Muritz region and the island of Usedom. The entire Oda Delta is known for its rich fishing grounds. The flooded forest at Anklam lies between, strategically perfect, as if it were an island and is a protected area. The breeding season was successful. Now tens of thousands of cormorants gather. Stocks have been stable now for years. In the Oda Delta, the equilibrium has been restored. But something is different this year. It hasn't rained for three months. As the days go by, more and more sea eagles arrive at the dead forest. More than a hundred in the past week alone. Heat causes the water to evaporate. Levels have been sinking for weeks. Things look grim for the fish. Party time for the eagles.
there is a surplus of trees. But this one was obviously someone else's. The heat continues. More than half of the peat bog has dried up. The remaining puzzles are the last refuge for the few surviving fish. The young eagles, bereft of their own territory, patrol large areas in search of easy prey. They can make out a fish from a kilometer away. Their own conspecifics even more so. An unprecedented natural spectacle. For weeks, eagles, herons and many others fill their stomachs with the fish they forced down their throats. Now, the youngsters in particular can learn how to tackle everything. Like in a training camp. Out of the parental eerie and with enormous hunger, they have come up trumps. They just have to prevail against their elders. For four years, they will scout the whole of Europe in search of food. In the end, they will have traveled thousands of miles before moving into their own territory. This summer, more than 200 sea eagles arrive at the Anklamer Stadtbruch. Most of them are young birds. The Grande Abufata, or blowout, lasts for several weeks. The puddles are empty of fish. Fortunately, the lagoon still provides more than enough to eat. The Oda Delta is exemplary for what can happen when one gives nature enough time and space to unfold. And one has the courage to let things run their course and trusts that natural cycles will eventually fall into place. Then, animals like the European bison and the wolf, beaver and sea eagle, once again have a chance. Thanks to the work of dedicated conservationists in Poland and Germany, a boundless wilderness unique in Europe has emerged.